Bag fuel, baby. Man, who, who, who was the intelligent, smart man who gave you the idea about going into AAU basketball? <laughs> My man, Esau. <laughs> Who was that smart guy that told you to go in the air? You nah, basketball. He did, he did, man. And that's what I'm pushing for, man. Uh, you be you be pushing that, Paul. You be pushing that on me like crazy. Like that's my next goal to like yeah. start with somebody and then hopefully build up to my own Lenny Cook team. You have to. You go coach with somebody and y'all win some games. Yeah. You win some games. Mm -hmm. You put some business behind it. Do your fundraising. Get your shout outs. Now you can use your name. Like I told you, you. You you rock with Steven Jackson already. Yeah. You rock with A A A A I already. Yeah. You you rock with Mello. Mello. You rock with Braun uh -huh. already. So the biggest thing is to, like you said, keeping your your relationships tight and bringing these people to your camp, exposing them to your kids. Yeah. Take time and you build your thing. When you do your fundraising, that's the thing about ball players that I always want to say. Not even ball players, creators. We have to understand that in order to keep our shit going, we have to make money. It's not just gonna happen. Yeah. Right? If you don't make no money, just bottom line, you can't pay Survive. your tolls. You can't hire a cameraman. You can't, you can't do nothing if you don't have the money. So if putting the business side behind the a a a AAU basketball and, and fundraising is important. Yeah. Smart was just here setting up your unit, which he told us is very important too. You might have to have somebody, a woman, or a man that can raise money for yeah. you. So you don't have to go out and you don't have to do that. You want to be able to stick to coaching. You want to make sure your uh, 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 assistant coaches can pick up slack for you. Mm -hmm. But in all of, in all the realm of what you got going on, all your peoples that you rocking with, you have to set up some type of deck like we got to set up one in order to fundraise and keep your shit going because that's how you're going to be able to win games. Getting seen in the right tournaments, yeah. going to the right places, beating the right teams. For sure. What's your plan for getting players? I mean, I can get the players, you know what I mean? It ain't about stealing players, you know what I mean? Because, you know, like nowadays, everybody want to be that guy that say, yo, that's my kid, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? I want to build from ground up, you know what I mean? I don't want to go pick and choose from the kids that's already but, out there. Go yeah, ahead. No, go. But it's like, I want to start, like my grassroots team, when I, when I have my own team, I want to have them from youth on up, you know what I'm saying? That stealing thing, though, that is, because it just triggered something. Your brother-in-law. Think about how many people that was trying to take him away from you. No, I mean, it happens. Yeah, you know? It happened because, because they, it happened yeah. to me. Like, I played with every team in New York City. I played with Riverside. I played with the Chos. I played with the Panthers. Mm -hmm. And that's because everybody wanted a piece, you know what I mean, of me but you know what that the comes team. With. And whoever came with the most at that time, that's who I was going to play with. You know what I mean? Yeah. And nowadays, it's like... People got these kids so locked in. It's like, yo, that's it's, my kid. I'm not, he's not playing with nobody else. But I think that's, I, I think that's like selfish. You know it, what I mean? Because you may be in this tournament this week, and this team might be over here playing next week. You know what I'm saying? Like that kid should be able to play wherever he want to play. Get the at. most exposure, the exposure, especially right now where high high school kids can really get the NIL. Money. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm that's saying? the thing. So, Before you had to wait, what twenty years. Or Jalen Brown's what, 26 now. He just got 300 million. Now these kids can get their NIL deals at 16, yeah, they get 17. Them in high school, you so know what I mean? The 14, the 14. Dewan Wagner's and all of these kids, these getting, they getting these deals now, right now. So you could get a quicker flip on this kid than you can for a house. Yes. So of course they're gonna be selfish. Because yes. if Lenny, if you got three dudes that are gonna each potentially make half a billy. Yeah. Fuck, you don't even got to say half a billion. billion. It yeah, can be 20 million. 20 million. Yeah. Three kids, then I want in. Million. Nah, I'm going to sure. be your friend. I'm like, yo, S, get this kid right here. We, we, but we you trying need to line money, up. But you, but you also still need money to invest, invest in that, in that kid. kid. Yeah, that's because that kid is going to have to eat along the that's, way. That's that kid got to stay fresh along the way. All he got to get back and forth to school comfortably. He got to get home after practice. Nah, you know what I'm saying? He's traveling. He's, definitely a he's a rap. He's a young rapper. Yeah. You follow what I'm Dang. saying? And you gotta babysit him, and because that's your pot. But like you understand, with these kids, you gotta understand their frontal lobe is not developed even yeah. at that age. At the age. So you don't know where they're gonna go. And the flip side of it, you can't legally sign them to a contract until they're 18. Until they're 18. Mm -hmm.
Technically, if you want to manage them, if, yeah. if, if, if you want to pay them, we, I, I can do a deal. But they can say, nah, this person's not managing, yeah. and, all, and all different type of shit, which puts a haze over the decision making. Because if the parents don't know the game, yeah. and a lot of parents are trying to jump into it now, and they don't know what's up, and they fucking a lot of these kids up from even sure. going to the next level. Because you think it's $7 million, nah, oh, we going to get $7 million, we, we good. Inflation is here. Yep. Everything costs more. That seven million is getting taxed. It's going down to three point five million. Then you got to pay your manager another seven hundred thousand. Oh, yeah. Now you at two point eight million. You want to help your family buy something. Now you at two million, and you ain't even start tricking yet. Nothing. You ain't even start tricking yet. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't done nothing like, these yet. These kids don't even understand. Like even when in the NBA, like whatever city you play in, then that night you still got to pay taxes there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. all of that shit. I didn't effect. know that. Every, yeah. yeah, that was because of the Hell Lakers. Yeah. It started with the Lakers. Hell yeah. Really? That shit's yeah. crazy. So if yeah. you play in you fly to New, New York, York right, you, you got to pay New York taxes. taxes. New York Miami. taxes. Then I didn't know that. Yeah. Like, oh, been, yeah. How the fuck they do that like that? Because yeah. I thought you just get paid. Like if, mm -hmm. I, if, I'm, if I'm playing for the Mavericks, I thought that if Mark Cuban pays me, from the Mavericks, and there's no state tax. I thought it comes from nah, Dallas. They, they, you pay for every city, city you, you go to and play in. Yep. Whatever their laws is. So in LA, if That's you go in fact. there, your check's going to be way lower than it would be in Miami. If you just a guest playing at the yep, arena. Place. Yep. It's a, something. I got to read up on that. Yeah, it's been like. I, no, I believe y'all. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying that that sounds bananas. I'm going to tell you how I found out about it. <laughs> the beginning of my documentary, you watch uh, the guest speaker. Um, he was uh, like one of the coaches and shit. He's the one that broke it down to us. Mm -hmm. Been in the league for a while. Yeah. That's how I heard I it started out. with, I, don't quote me on it, it started with the Lakers and Magic. There was some type of beef and then they extended it across the league. I'm, I'm paraphrasing a lot of it. That's where it came from. That's crazy. Yeah. Entertainers tax. Yes, that's, that's the name of it. Called. Yes, yeah. that's yes. what it's called.